something's changed. And we're not happy. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes So for anyone that watches our channel, you'll know that we love this book. But this book is no more. So Britstops used to give you access to the app and the book. But now Britstops has changed hands and Britstops have changed the way that they're operating. And they've decided that they don't want to give you a book anymore. So you can pay for the app, but you don't get a hard copy book. Now for us, the book was the part of it that we loved, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, because you get all the information, it's all there so you can plan stuff out, you can plan your route, you can plan which ones you want to go to. Yeah. Works. So for us, it was always about ease of research. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily about the scheme. So for not having a book, there's not really an option for people like us anymore. Or is there? So what we've found is we've actually found that there are tons of places out there, even some Brit stop sites that will let you stay there without the membership to any scheme like Brit stops. So therefore, essentially, Brit Stops is becoming money for old rope. They're charging you for an app that you don't need. On the internet, we use a map from Google Maps that has lots of pub stops on it. I'll drop it down below so that people can see. I'll drop the footage in. And you can see the app and you can see how it works on Google Maps and you can pick out the sites. But if it helps you guys, if you go to our website, we've actually documented all the pub stops that we've done so far. And I think we've, that's an ongoing thing. Yeah. Every time we stay somewhere nice and we like it, we're going to put it on there. So there's all information there for you. Absolutely. And if you go on there, you'll find a review of the pub. You'll find photos. You'll find a map of where the pub is. And the other thing I'm doing for you guys is I'm actually in the process of creating a Google map of all of the pub stop and places that we've stayed at. And you know what? I'm not going to charge you 35 20 a year for that. <laughs> you can have it for free. <laughs> and that's the thing. Essentially, if you're buying into Brit Stops now, we feel like you're buying into something um, that's available freely on the internet anyway. So it's so easy to find somewhere to stay. In actual fact, we need somewhere to stay tonight. So I'm gonna show you what the best way of finding a stopover is. Okay, so we need somewhere to stay tonight. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do without Brit stops. Hello? Is that the Betsy Wynn? Fantastic. Could I possibly book a table for tonight for half past six um, for two adults and I believe you're dog friendly, so two dogs as well, please. Fantastic. The other thing is, um, just wonder, we're in a camper van, would it be possible to stay in the car park um, overnight? We've done it a couple of pubs before. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much. Perfect. We'll see you when we get there. Thank you. Bye. There you go. That's all you need to do without Brit stops. Simples. And that is how you get to stay somewhere like this overnight without paying a yearly subscription. We think it's cracking. Probably one of the best places we stay and it's not even in Britstocks.
So, that was the Betsy win. We enjoyed it there, didn't love we? Love it there, absolutely love it there. Tell them about your breakfast. Oh, breakfast. So I had a shack suka, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like a Mediterranean dish with eggs, tomatoes, peppers, onions, and with some sourdough bread, and it was lush. Really, really nice. So Never had it before, but it was nice. So just to recap, we stayed somewhere that wasn't in Brit Stops. Um, we had a lovely meal last night. We had a lovely breakfast this morning. We had a lovely walk. Uh, Tessie loved going in the water, as you will have seen. Yeah. And we didn't have to pay for a yearly subscription. Now, I'm going to caveat all of this, and I am going to say that when we're in Brit Stops, Brit Stops does claim that you can stay in each place free of charge. Okay, but we never agreed with that anyway because we thought that you're doing the businesses out of money. So we kind of felt a moral obligation to pay to stay there. So as far as we can see it, whilst Brit Stops might work for other people, for us, we loved the book. It was the book that there was the USP mm -hmm. for us, the unique selling point, and the book's gone. So on that bombshell, we're out. Do it was done.